chicks and amuse, take two. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much for coming, everybody. This is uh, Scoop Newsworthy, your Rover reporter, coming to you live from the actual rehearsal hall and art studio where the four chicks and abuse actually perform all of their services and artistic creativity for their blog, Four Chicks and Amuse. Today we have a very special set of guests, the husbands of the four chicks. Here, here. Gentlemen, uh -huh. the hey. Hey. welcome to the show, and uh, thank you very much. I'd like each of you to introduce yourself so that our audience knows who you are. Sir? I'm married to hosting the Muse. Wonderful. I'm married to pursuing the Muse. Lovely. I'm uh, married to charming the Muse. Wonderful. I'm tickling the Muse. She just thinks she is. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being here, gentlemen. First question I have for you, sir, is uh, so what, do you, what do you think of your wives becoming four chicks, the expiring artists that they are. I mean, my wife, it's been really good for her because she's able to have a great creative outlet and uh, she gets to share that with other people, in, in people on the web that she doesn't even know. Wonderful. I, I just think it's real interesting to see um, each of their excitement as they sort of find other links. I know there was uh, something about a musician that um, uh, my wife was telling me about this weekend that um, has also a similar name to Four Chicks, and I just think it's interesting and to see their energy um, when that creative outlet is, is uh, sort of sparked for them. Indeed, indeed. I'm with Dave. I think it's a great outlet for them, and uh, I know they've thoroughly enjoyed it, and I've enjoyed hearing about what they come back with, and uh, I know that it's been great for them. They've really enjoyed their time here. Good, and, and I'm sure the children feel equally and <coughs> supportive. I think they do, and in, in, in all seriousness, it was, uh, you know, I think each of us, maybe even in, in our own work lives, I know will my job will touch on things like internet following and how we do at our company. I was blown away by how many people are already, can, they're connected to and following uh, the Four Chicks and Amuse blog, so um, once that excitement sort of got in our house, even the the kids started to get excited and want to know more about it and like to see pictures of their family or their mom or their friends and it's uh, it's really, it's it's become a lot more than I thought it was going to be. Good, yeah, so. good. The, the actual blog is named for chicks and a muse in their, in their pursuit of the muse. Uh, one of the questions that we have to ask you is, is who, who exactly is the muse that they're chasing after, and, and are you jealous of the muse? Well, I'm the muse because she's been chasing me around all week long, I'll tell you that. Ah, and the secret is now uncovered. Yeah. But do we, do, do we have a collective guess at, at who the muse might be? I think it's an ideal, you know? No, I, I, I agree. I think the muse is, is, is a moving target. You know, I, I think, uh, at least I hope it's it's not the uh, the Dos Equis guy, the most interesting man <laughs> in the world. Um, but you know, if you understand the dynamic of their friendship, the four of them, you know, I think they're as much of collectively as the, uh, of a muse for each other. Um, you know, as as any one real or imagined person might be. But I think they each draw their their creativity from whether it's husbands or kids or, or their own friendships, it it certainly shows up when they need it. But and that's, you know, the, the muse, I think if, if the four of them were here for that same question, each of them would give a little bit of a different answer. Sure. And, you know, the collaborative nature of the, what each of them do and sort of tapping into each other's talents, um, you know, if there's, if, if, if there's something that one of them sorts with as a strength, they're gonna take advantage of that in moving forward and so, um, you know, that's that's the, what's unique about this one and the collaborative, collaborativeness as opposed to if you just had one of them going out trying to accomplish the same goal. I so. think the muse is the unknown, you know. Where am I going? You know, what am I striving for? Where's my, where's my story going? Where's my poem going? Where's my art going? I think it's the unknown. What am I looking for? So this could be the, the never-ending pursuit. For sure. Or maybe we Definitely, hope it's yeah. the never-ending pursuit and it, it will go on. Good. Very special guests, the husbands of the four chicks. Gentlemen, uh, I'd like you to each introduce Cut. yourself. Cut. Eva says you didn't say the name of the blog. 
you know. No one you just said, pretend Longshore like we're not watching. I thought she wasn't the listening. Yeah. <laughs> that changes everything. You have what to just the say. Hell? <laughs> you guys got audio in there? Man. <laughs> 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 it's, it's, live. it's live. It's, live. it's, it's streaming live. live. Okay. On the way up. You got audio in there? Wait. I think it's great. My first time at the supermarket with my wife, when people started to come from other aisles and and ask her for autographs and, and recognized her for the blogger that she's become. It, it's it's really, it's changed our lives immeasurably. I can imagine.